Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on Mold and Walls Part 2. In Part 1 of this three-part series, I described how a layperson might be able to ascertain if there's mold inside a wall. In this video, I'll describe two methods that involve professional equipment. And in the next video, Part 3, I'll cover methods that involve a laboratory. The first approach for a professional to determine if there's mold in a wall is to use a piece of equipment called a boroscope. Boroscopes help you look into a wall through a small hole. Boroscopes come with varying diameters for their camera heads, some even less than six millimeters in diameter. The smaller the head, the smaller the needed opening. I also like boroscopes that come with mirror attachments. As you go into the wall, they help you look at the back side of the drywall. One drawback of boroscopes is that they can be hard to navigate inside a wall, especially when there's insulation in that wall. Also, images can sometimes be grainy and difficult to make out exactly what you're looking at. They often require drilling a hole, which also has its drawbacks and risks. The second approach a professional may use to determine if mold growth is in a wall is to use moisture as a surrogate for mold. If the wall has been wet for a long period of time, there is a high likelihood that mold will be found inside. Moisture is used as a surrogate because it can be easier to find than mold. A professional will likely use tools such as moisture meters and or infrared cameras to help find and confirm dampness inside the wall. Many moisture meters come with deep wall probes that can be helpful for evaluating thick walls. One drawback to this approach is that it only finds active moisture and mold problems. These tools wouldn't be able to identify an extensive mold problem if the contributing moisture issue has now dried out. What else can be done besides using a boroscope and moisture meter? In our final installment, part three, in that video we'll cover laboratory-based methods which can help identify mold in walls. If you'd like to learn more about evaluating buildings for indoor mold growth, consider taking classes in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.